Good morning. Welcome back to Rome 2 Total War. One of two things I was a bit frustrated about last night, um, well, one really, that I didn't get rid of the Spartans. Um, I thought I was going to achieve that on that last video. So I, I'm, before I go down into my workshop and start fiddling about with this thing I'm making at the moment, um, I, I thought I'd try and clear them out of the way. Um, first of all, I, I just want to get rid of these guys here because I was very frustrated about those that we didn't completely destroy them so let's get rid of those guys um, and I'm hoping this will lead to the complete destruction of them so oh an aggressive stance I think yeah okay good um, go on down quickly please I haven't got a great deal of time it's gonna be a short video this morning um, hopefully um, kill captives yeah um, Increasing rank, thank you very much. Okay, well let's get those guys there back to there then, defending this place. I'm not sure if I need to, but in fact, no. Let's just wait a little bit longer, just in case these run away all the way up to there. These are the next ones I want to um, crush. I want to get rid of. Um, yeah, I think I do. Or do I? Do I want to attack them with there? Or do I want to attack them from here? My intention is to bring these ships over from Antioch. No, we haven't really got any decent... So I don't know what he's got in there. I don't know if he's got um, uh, military ships or what he's got. But, um, hmm. No, I'll go in with these. Because these have got to move anyway and they've got to come out this way. So I might as well do it this way. So here we go. I know I'm going to lose some troops here. But then, well, maybe I can afford to lose some. So... Um, auto resolve this one and it's going to be a, oh I can do an aggressive stance just in the same way I can do any other kind of attack. Now I'm hoping that completely destroys Sparta and that will destroy his army because if you remember I wounded his general didn't I so all good I didn't actually lose anybody but mm, okay suffered some um, yeah okay I think it was worth it to destroy Sparta increase in rank ah why is he still there? Um, that's puzzling me. I thought that was the end of Sparta. Um, well, now that's confused me. So what I want to do now, anyway, is protect this place because I don't think we're big enough. We might, we might handle them, but I don't want to take the risk really. So what I'm going to do is get those around to here. And then those ships that I said I might use before, I'm going to use now. Um, I don't think I can be ambushed when I'm inside a town. So I think they'll defend that very well because it's a walled city. So I'm going to bring these over from... Uh, oh, I've still got those in Tarsus, haven't I? I could bring over... Hmm, do I bring the Tarsus ones? Blimey, that's a big army, isn't it, there? I didn't realise I'd, I'd left such a massive army there in Tarsus. Well, they can get to Sidda, can't they? I'm thinking about... Um, here, I was going to bring these over, but I mean, they're both walled, aren't they? Is Tarsus well defended in terms of a garrison? 13 it's got. Three lots of hillmen, three lots of eastern spearmen. That's interesting, isn't it? I was going to bring these over, these ships, um, because they're the only thing defending Antioch. Um, but they've got 12 in there, haven't they? So, I mean, that's a pretty good fort. And they've got various other defences. Swordsmen, hillmen, they're pretty good, actually. Both of these are good. I, I don't think I need to have so many um, troops in those places there. Uh, particularly when Rhodes falls, um, which is still quite a distance away. So there's nobody threatening me there. Um, Sidda is within range of Rhodes there. So, uh, like I said, I was going to bring the ships across. Um, I've changed my mind. I'm going to bring the army across instead. Um, okay. Right, and then I'm going to get these guys to come round. They can get across there, can't they? Do you know, it's a bit weird. 
It's obviously quicker that way round. I'm just a bit concerned that he's going to come this way round. And I'm almost certain he landed there, so he could get up to there from there. So I'm going to bring him round this way. Okay. With the intention next turn of attacking up there. I really do want to get rid of that um, that general there. Um, I think that's all he's got left now. I thought I'd... well I did, I wounded him. Um, but I thought that would mean he's destroyed. But I think what's happened is he's been replaced by a subordinate general of course um, because one's wounded in there. And, um, uh, and, and that's what's keeping him in the game. Well, it's the only thing I can think of, anyway. And I've still got 7,439. Now, the other thing that's occurred to me, uh, a couple of things have occurred to me, and that's... Uh, I'm keeping an eye on those as well there, but um, but these guys up here, I know it's going to cost me money, but I want to get these moving, even if it's only with just those few, because they're just completely wasted at the moment. But what I need to check first is squalor. Let's just have a quick trawl round just to make sure we haven't got any buildings that need doing up. I know you're going to think, well, why does he need to check that before moving those troops? Well, it's basically because while I'm moving them, I want to be recruiting at the same time. Um, because at the moment, um, they're a fairly small force. And the intention was, if you remember, um, to uh, add to the force as it moves. But that really was a massive force, wasn't it, that I had down at the bottom there. This is the thing, you, you can't just have um, armies all over the place. You're only allowed a limited number of armies. So you want to be able to attack with those armies. So you tend to have attack size armies with good quality troops in them. Instead of, say, small armies defending places, adding to the garrisons. You know, well, that's what I've been doing anyway. So um, uh, maybe I should build that one up. What's this place like? Uh, public order's okay. Building's useless to me, but... I don't think I need to worry about that at the moment. It's just um, those buildings that might turn to slums that I need to deal with, really. Uh, no, no, I think that should be all of them, should it? Um, I should count them, shouldn't I? Find out the number of provinces I've got and then um, count as I scroll through, because that's all I'm doing. I'm just scrolling. I'm not looking at where I am on the map or what they're called. I'm simply scrolling through all the buildings. And I, I think, surely I must have gone through them all by now. There is nothing, is there? Uh, nothing at all. No. OK. Well, it was meant to be a quick video, this one. So let's get back up to here and get these guys on the move. I know I'm at peace with them at the moment. I don't think I'm trading with them, but I do want to move in their direction because these are the ones, if you remember, I wanted to clear away most. I got sort of sidetracked a little with Sparta there, but um, what I really want to do is um, take out the whole of that northern area there and consolidate my borders. So let's just build these up a little bit. I'll give them... Um, it'd be nice to have some horse in here, wouldn't it? I haven't got good quality horse. Um, it's more the kind of horse that can attack people when the time comes. What about those? I mean, is it melee attack 12? It's not good, is it? Melee attack 14, slightly better. Charge bonus 5. Um, I'm going to go for a couple of those. And one of those. Right, OK. So that will build it up to... Does that give me... The number including those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, it does. 14. OK, good. Um, no more money to spend. Well, I have got money to spend, but I'm going to hang on to that because I might need it, particularly for um, killing this general that's down here somewhere. Did I put my ships back? I didn't. So let's get the ships back. Um... OK. Right. I don't know what Rhodes are doing. They seem to be going backwards and forwards like the Grand Old Duke of York. I don't think they themselves know what they're doing, really, do they? So um, I don't think they're trying to fool me. I think it's just they haven't got a clue what they're doing. OK, Tarsus is now within reach of people, but he can get back to Tarsus. 
Okay, somebody might be able to land. Can he land an attack? If he does, he's got two walled cities there, pretty close. And I've actually got some military ships that I can use to um, attack any ships he's got there as well. Can I? No, I can't. I was going to say, can I get any decent ships in there yet? But nope, not possible. What about this one? Has he got any decent uh, trading port? The military pier's on the way, but it's four turns away. Quite a long time. Let's have a quick check of my um, um, forces. Uh, where is it? Forces here. Um, just see if I've got anybody that I need to upgrade. Oh, yes, I have. Um, uh, deliverers of Aran. Oh, it's these that I've just used, isn't it? Um, okay. So what am I going to get in here? In here, I've got melee attack skill for all assault ships. I don't know why I went for that one. I don't even have assault ships, do I? Not in there, anyway. Um, what about this? That will be blockade runners plus ten morale for all naval during battle with blockading fleets. Uh, ramming bonus, no. All support ships. Uh, bonus for all heavy weapon ships. That sounds like the one I normally go for. All units when escorting transports. Shots per minute, or missile units when escorting transports. Melee defence skill for all units. Missile attack range for all units. I'm going to go for that one, the supporting fire. I like it. Um, and then here, military building construction costs. No. Uh, authority morale for all units, maybe. But in here, I can get what? Ranks for all siege weapons. Right. Plus two experience ranks. For heavy weapon ship recruits. Hmm, so we'll get any more. Mm, they'll get experience though. Support ship recruits. Experience rank for cavalry. No. Uh, assault ships. Ranks for infantry recruits. Oh, I don't know. Um, seal. Da -da 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 -da. Right, let's go for that one. Actually, let's not. Let's have a look at these first. Authority, morale for all units. I think morale for all units sounds good, doesn't it? No, they don't tend to really run away, do they, my ships? Or, um, oh, sail away quickly. Um, row away is the way, isn't it, is to describe it, I suppose. Experience ranks for all sports ships or recruits authorities. I think it's this one, isn't it? Experience ranks for siege weapon. Um, heavy weapon. Oh, I'm going to go for that one anyway. I'm a bit puzzled about which is the best one to get there. So, oh, we've got another one. Oh no, we've got another <sighs> issue to resolve. Now, what about this one? Um, oh crikey, he's got two to get. Gross per turn, local province, authority, search. What's that? Research rate, faction wide. I want to go for that one. Blimey, that's a good one. Um, and then I'll just go for authority. Blimey, plus five research rate. That's very good, isn't it? I wonder if I can get some more of those. I wonder, maybe I should go through all my generals and find the households and see if I can find any with with those in. Because that's a really good one, isn't it? Mystic Philosopher. Wow, that's something to look up for, isn't it? Look, look out for next time. Right, OK, well, he's been used to wound him, which doesn't seem to have made an ape of the difference. So, well, I don't know what to, um, what to do about that. So, I think that is about it. And I'm up to... 13 minutes already, aren't I? Right, so I was hoping to wipe out Sparta on this one, so it's going to be next turn. It looks like this army here, or these guys here, these spies and things like this, are going to wipe out these guys here, doesn't it? But um, anyway, let's see. And that should then, of course, be the end of Sparta. Let's go and have a look and see what happens then. Oh, following remains on address. Forced has an unassigned tradition, the truth of Mithra. Cancel. Right. How did I miss that one then? Is it this one? Uh. Ah. Okay, just checking the right anymore. It should have told me about it, but it's always worth checking, isn't it? Right, it's these guys in here, so. Um, I don't know, they should have loads of things going for them already, so, I don't know, um, upkeep for all land units, um, right, I'm going to go for that, minus 4% upkeep for all land units, that's got to be a good thing, doesn't say faction wide, so I have to assume it's these, so that's an interesting one, that faction wide, that sort of taught me a lesson really, um, in that any of these attributes that are shown here should then be local, shouldn't they really, um, 
Okay, well, it's a decent sized army, so it's a good one to have that. Minus 4%. Bearing in mind each unit can cost well, around about 100, depending on how good the unit is. Maybe 80 each. We'll call it 80, and you've got 20 in there. That's um, uh, 10 is um, 800. Wow. That's 1600, isn't it, for a full stack of 20? So we'll call it 1600. Um, 10% of that, 116 is 1% times 4, 4 16s, um, 64, does that sound about right? I don't know, 64, meh. okay, I'm not saving a great deal, am I? But I'm saving, so, saving something, so, could make the difference between being able to do a building and also kill the, the last remaining Spartan general. Right, now they've annoyed me now, that's Getai, isn't it? I've had problems with those guys before. Um, I'm going to send my, my fleet back to go and destroy them and declare war on the Getai if necessary. Because there's no way I'm going to allow that to happen. In fact, I've got that other army I'm moving across. and I, Maybe I should move those towards the Getai instead of moving them so far north. Yeah, and then move up from the Getai region. Hmm, maybe that's the way to do it. Okay. My post normally arrives about now, actually, so... Hmm. Ah. He's reinforcing roads, which is fair enough. I can accept that. And disruption. Um, enemy dignitaries, loads of people against you. Province may now rebel. Um, shall we have a look at it? Hidden agent exposed. Okay, natural causes. Yep. Duty calls. Get another one then. Uh, so it's this one that might rebel. Let's go and have a look at it then. Uh, stable. So now it's not going to rebel. You see, these could move up towards the Getai as well, couldn't they? Perhaps. I'm not sure about these. Uh, the Getai got this area as well. That's a Triboli, isn't it? And these are... What are they? Yeah, they're the Getai. I'm going to have to go back to sort those guys out. There's no way I'm going to allow that to happen. Or that to continue. Right, now I could go and destroy his army, or I could try killing his general. Um, he looks bigger. 19. Where did he get 19 from? He's bought mercenaries. He had 11. Right, I think he's bought mercenaries. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think they're 11, weren't they? I think he's bought all of these as mercenaries, because they're mercenaries. And they're... Oh, they're not, actually. Oh, yeah, they are. They're mercenaries and they're mercenaries. It wouldn't surprise me if all of those there are mercenaries. He's spending the last remaining amounts of money. It's a blooming good job I put him in there, wasn't it? If it attacked me with mercenaries as well, I really would be in trouble. Um, right, I'm going to ignore him in the hope that killing this general will completely destroy Sparta. Um, and if it does, assassination, um, chance to a noble death. I think that's mine from earlier. You remember how to replace him? Enemy wounded. Damn, that means another general is going to take over. Well, we can attack him. I've still got him. Hey. Ah. Wounding him, of course. He can't be replaced. Blimey, do you know, I thought that was a statue on roads, that. It's actually some stupid woman doing weird things. I don't know. This is what I'm really pleased about, with all this witchcraft stuff going here. I've got all these weird women doing <laughs> these crazy things. Right, OK. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the end of Sparta. That was the whole purpose of this particular video. So uh, that has been a short video, which is exactly what I wanted, which is great. What about this? Plus two authority, military assass military administration, minus 8% upkeep cost this action. Um, a threat of destruction, zeal, uh, I don't know. Which one am I going for? Um, authority when accompanying generals, cunning, chance of evading enemy targets. I always like that one. Uh, this one, cunning manipulation, tempt plus 20% chance of successful manipulation, which would pay off. I don't, he's not really a threat from anybody at the moment, is he, this guy? I think I might just, um, hang on, what was, oh, come on. 
chance of critical success in all action. I might just go for this one. Military administration. Minus 4% upkeep costs. Does he need to be with um, a general to do that? You'd have thought so, wouldn't you? That's all a company in general, I think, that. Threat of destruction. Uh, yeah, I, I think we have to assume that is whichever force he's with. Um, chance of evading enemy targets, let's go for that. It's always a, a decent one to go for. Right, OK, that is now, finally, eventually, the end of Sparta. I could perhaps bring these guys now. Big army, isn't it? Um, nobody is threatening them at all, really, is there? So um, I think I could take roads with them. That's a pretty good army. Catapults, everything I need, and I could take Rhodes. And I think Rhodes. Um, where are they? Have they gone back again? They've gone back again. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing, do they? They're all over the place. I, I think it's likely if I attack the island of Rhodes that these are going to come and attack me in one of my places. Now, that's a walled one. That one isn't a walled one. If they've got any sense, they're going to go for the non walled area. They've got 25, 29 in these to attack me with. I've got a full 20. Yeah, I've only got axemen. I haven't got anything better than axemen. What? sort of troops can I get in here? Nothing really. There really are no decent troops that I can get in there. Oops. Hang on. Um, recruit units. I can get noble blood horse, noble blood cavalry. I've got loads anyway. Hmm. Um, yeah, I, I think just have to rely on that being a fairly decent mixed force. In fact, I think it's pretty good. It just doesn't have the swordsman. I tend to rely on my swordsman, don't I? But um, I've got these that can do nasty things to them. I think it might be worth, you know, me... Um, oh, look. Do you know, I could even go up there and destroy some of his units at sea. I could possibly wipe out the whole of Rhodes. I might be able to... Um, attack those ships there, wipe them out with my military ships here. Um, it doesn't show what support he's going to get, does it? But I'm pretty sure... Mind you, it depends if they're transport ships or not. Oh yeah, he can get support. No. I don't know what that means when it does that. Uh, you know, when those arrows move around like that, I think it means... Yeah, I think it means he's getting support there then. When that, yeah, when I attack him, he gains support from both those ships nearby. When I attack him, you see, when I attack him there, it doesn't happen. When I go like that, it shows more than one ship can attack me. So I'm a bit puzzled, really, as to what's going on there. But um, I think I could probably wipe them out. Um, he'll probably retreat when I do it. If I go for the big ship first, because that's the one that I need the most, isn't it? To destroy that full 20, and then go and pick those off afterwards. So there's three units at sea. I thought there was another one somewhere around here. There is, there's this one. Making, oh yeah, look, they're just transports, aren't they? And they're roads, aren't they? Uh, and I've got these that can take them out, I would have thought, fairly easily. And once they're gone, it's just a case of attacking roads. Um, and then roads will complete that province for me. And that would be nice, because at the moment, we are... Are we stable? Yeah, we're stable, and we're on a plus nine. Hmm. wonder if it's worth taking roads. I think it probably is. Um, and it means, of course, that I can step forwards, doesn't it, to this position here. And provided I can keep this sea clear across here with my ships. In other words, I can I leave a couple of fleets, perhaps one there and one there, so if anything approaches, I can attack them. I can attack them. Um, then it means that the whole of this coastal area around here will be safe. So I think my next mission on my next video is going to be to wipe out roads because I'm pretty sure roads have only got those two areas. Um, well, in fact, one area. Do they have another? Shall we see? Just click on here. Right, now let's run through where they might have. OK. Roads. And... No, roads is all they have. 
I don't believe roads have got anything else, because if I do my chevrons, it doesn't show me any other places that Rhodes has. Anywhere else that might give it away. See, I often think this is Rhodes as well, but I don't think it is, is it? It's Athens. Very similar. OK, right, Rhodes are next, I think. And then we should have... Let's have a quick look at the overall map again. Um, we should have, with the demise of Rhodes here and their ships down here, hopefully have complete control of here. If I have a decent navy in here and a decent navy here, we should be able to cut anybody off from getting into this area. Maybe if I have a decent navy there and there, I can cut anybody off from the whole of all of this. It is disturbing me at the moment that the Getae can get through there. Um, and I think maybe the Getae are just going to have to go because... Um, uh, because it's too much of a threat to me. Is that them? Yeah, that's them there. They haven't got anything else. I'm probably trading with them, but that is too much of a risk going through there. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to bring my ships back and sort that out. So that is a bit of a back door at the moment on my empire, isn't it? It's a bit like going around the, the 300 Spartans, isn't it, really? Going around the back door there. So we need to stop that from happening. OK, right, let's get on with it then and um, get this video recorded. You should have that sometime today, which would be great. Sometime early afternoon, I would hope, on the Monday. On the, um, what are we in terms of date? We are currently on the 9th of December. Monday, the 9th of December. Uh, OK, right. Thanks for watching, folks. Um, next time it's Rhodes. This time Sparta, next time Rhodes.